Now to a Target 12 investigation. Kratom controversy. The Target 12 investigators found an illegal herbal substance called Kratom being sold in stores throughout the state. As lawmakers are now considering whether or not to legalize the controversial plant derivative. Target 12 investigator Sarah Grinelli is here now with the exclusive details. Sarah. Kratom is made from a tropical tree in Southeast Asia and is now used by millions of people. But in Rhode Island, it is one of a handful of states where it's banned. Do you guys have any Kratom by any chance? Oh my God, it's a whole wall. Do you like, like powders, capsules, wow. extracts, teas? Kratom. For years, it's been an illegal herbal substance in Rhode Island. It's pretty interesting when I walked in there, I didn't expect to see so much Kratom. Yet, Target 12 found the product being sold at stores statewide. Where else can you get this around here? You can't, it's banned. Oh, no way. Yeah. Proponents of the herb say it's often used to treat pain, anxiety, and to help deal with opioid withdrawal. Do you guys sell Kratom by any chance? Yes, looking for the shot. And comes in packages like this, liquid powder or pill form. When I asked if he had other types, he just pulled out more liquids. How much you take for his time? Five, okay. Yeah. Depending on how much someone takes, experts say it can either boost your mood or mellow you out. However, the Food and Drug Administration has not approved Kratom, citing a lack of scientific studies. Rhode Island is one of five other states in the country where it's been banned, but a bill is headed to the governor's desk to change that. It's already legal in neighboring states like Connecticut, New York, and Massachusetts. That's where Kratom user Mike Overstreet is from. I just know my teeth aren't falling out. He me. says he turned to heroin after his prescription medication ran out when he was hurt in a wrestling match in high school. Former um, opiate addict and then on Suboxone for over eight years. And that really started to take a negative toll on my overall health and well-being, mainly my, my teeth. Then you tried Kratom. What does it mean for your family to be able to take this? I'd say it means that I'm a, a lot more present. Because when I don't have to deal with the pain, then I'm able to kind of be with my family. People like Overstreet and the American Kratom Association have lobbied for the herbal substance because of the reported benefits. But doctors like Tom Bledsoe from the Rhode Island Medical Society says it can be dangerous for users who can become hooked on the supplement. And then there, there's also a bit of risk of uh, dependence on it that you could take it and then maybe get stuck on it and have trouble not taking it afterwards. As of 2022, the Drug Enforcement Administration listed Kratom as a drug and chemical of concern. Along with addiction concerns, some people have reported having hallucinations, plus nausea, itching, vomiting, and loss of appetite. And the bottom line is with this medication, it clearly has physiologic effects that people who take it. The safety isn't known and the, and the, uh, and the risks uh, of using it are not known. Coming up, a Rhode Island lawmaker pushing to legalize Kratom says he's tried it. I tried both. Okay. I tried the pill, didn't do anything. Plus, how many people have called poison control over concerns that they took too much? With the Target 12 investigator, Sarah Grinelli, 12 News. Now to a Target 12 investigation, Kratom controversy. At 5, we told you how stores in the state were illegally selling an herbal substance called Kratom. State lawmakers for years have been trying to remove a ban locally. Now a bill is on the verge of heading to the governor's desk to do just that and regulate the herb that's been under scrutiny. New at 6, Target 12 investigator Sarah Grinelli spoke with one of the lawmakers leading the charge. Sarah? Proponents of Kratom say the substance helped treat addiction and chronic pain, while health experts oppose legalization, saying there simply isn't enough research to know if it's safe and effective. Powder, pills, or liquid, those are some of the different ways Kratom is sold. It's going to be illegal soon. The herbal substance, currently illegal in Rhode Island, was found by Target 12 in several stores. Now it has a good shot at becoming legal. Where else can you get this around here? You can't. It's banned. Oh, no way. Yeah. Despite the potential risks, advocates say it can be used as a mood booster or relaxer. It can treat pain and help fight addiction, like for Mike Overstreet. An addiction is where it has a negative consequence on somebody's life. 
and that's not happening with, with Kratom, at least for me. You know, it's only been beneficial. Overstreet is from Massachusetts, where it's legal. He's lobbied at the Rhode Island State House for a bill called the Kratom Consumer Protection Act. He told lawmakers he turned to Kratom because of the side effects of Suboxone were too severe. I know. I just know my teeth aren't falling out. The bill's sponsor, State Representative John Edwards, says Kratom is a safe herbal product for consumers. It's a natural product doesn't hurt anyone. Have you ever tried it? No. I actually have. It didn't do anything for me. I found it to be rather bitter. Edwards' past attempts to get the bill passed have failed, but this year the legislation has a good chance of ending up on Governor McKee's desk. If it gets signed into law, it would regulate Kratom and ban any dangerous non-Kratom substances to be mixed into it. Plus, there would be a specific labeling, including directions for people who take it, and buyers have to be 21. When people go in and add things to it, and it becomes a poly drug, that's when Kratom can become deadly. And the best part of it is that when it's stamped pure, when it's marked pure, it will be. The customers will be able to look at that and say, this is a pure product. Still, there's a lot of debate over whether the herbal substance is safe. The problem is uh, really threefold. One is safety, two is effectiveness, and then three is the risk of addiction and dependency. And we have concerns on all three fronts. Dr. Tom Bledsoe from the Rhode Island Medical Society says there's not enough research behind the drug. It hasn't been approved by the FDA, plus the Drug Enforcement Agency claims there is no legitimate medical use for Kratom in the U.S. So people have overdosed from Kratom. People have overdosed and come to the emergency room sick and it took a while to figure out what it was because it was a, a new, something that was new on the market. Target 12 found there were 28 calls to the Massachusetts Rhode Island and Poison Control Center in the past year and a half about Kratom. Just two of those calls were from Rhode Island. According to the Rhode Island Department of Health, three people died when they mixed Kratom and other substances from 2022 to 2023. Just approving it for sale and use in an unregulated fashion without resources to study it and follow it is a, it's a risky path for the state of Rhode Island to go in. For people like Overstreet, he says Kratom has changed his life for the better. Plant medicine like Kratom isn't for everybody, but it does work for many. The Kratom Consumer Protection Act is poised to pass the General Assembly this week. It would then be up to the governor whether or not he signs it, vetoes it, or lets it become law without his signature. With the Target 12 investigators, Sarah Gardelli, 12 News.